the compounds which containing many halogen atoms they are called as what polyhalogen atom what is the meaning of drastic condition it require high temperature as well as high pressure the chlorination of chlorobenzene there is a formation of two product one is ortho another one is para nitration means heating with concentrated nitric acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid Hello everyone I'm Renuka Ashok Department of Chemistry Vidyashram Pre University College the Temple of Excellence Mysore Today the last session of half chapter halo alkanes and haloarenes that is sixth session of this chapter and last session of this chapter I discussed about elimination reactions reaction with metals reactions of halo arenes elimination reactions reactions with metal reactions of halo arenes elimination reaction i already explained that they are also called as what dehydrohalogenation they are also called as what dehydrohalogenation in this session i am going to explain electrophilic substitution reactions reaction with metals last one polyhalogen compounds polyhalogen polyhalogen compounds poly means many the compounds which containing many halogen atoms they are called as what polyhalogen atom so in this session i am going to explain about electrophilic substitution reactions reaction with metals polyhalogen compounds first one electrophilic substitution reaction last class i discussed that in substituents in substituents there are two types of substituents ewg as well as edg electron withdrawing group ewg means electron withdrawing group electron withdrawing group edg is electron donating group electron donating group in ewg already explained that example for electron withdrawing groups are no2 cn f cl br i all halogen atoms comes under electron halo group is electron withdrawing group at it is ortho and para directing in electrophilic substitution due to resonance halogen group or halo group is electron withdrawing group as well as it is a ortho and para directing group ortho and para directing group ortho and para directing groups ortho and para directing group why the electron withdrawing groups they are ortho and para directing in case of electrophilic substitution during resonance if i consider x is an halogen atom it has three lone pair of electron during resonance one lone pair is shifted here this pi bond is shifted to carbon and this carbon creates negative charge like when resonance proceeds here also will absorb negative charge here also will absorb negative charge therefore during resonance which positions gains negative charge ortho para ortho which positions there is a negative charges during resonance during resonance which position gains negative charge during resonance ortho and para positions gains negative charge or acquires negative charge meta position does not acquires negative charge this position is called as meta in all the ring absorb meta position is it any negative charges created here no there is no negative charges in meta position negative charges only created or acquired in which position ortho and para because due to negative inductive effect due to negative inductive effect which inductive effect negative inductive effect inductive effect halo group ring gets little di activated as a result electrophilic substitution in halo arene is slow and require more drastic condition it require more drastic condition compared to 
parent benzene compared to parent benzene. Due to negative inductive effect of halo group, ring gets little deactivated. Ring gets little deactivated. When you consider benzene and chlorobenzene, benzene and chlorobenzene, the electrophilic substitution is uh, fast in case of benzene. It is slow in case of chlorobenzene. Why in chlorobenzene? The electrophilic substitution is slow compared to benzene because of negative inductive effect halo group is in a ring gets a little deactivated. As a result, electrophilic substitution in halo or in is slow require more drastic condition. Then what is the meaning of drastic condition? It require high temperature as well as high pressure. Therefore, halo or in undergo slow electrophilic substitution reaction compared to parent benzene compared to parents benzene. this is because of negative inductive effect of this is because of negative inductive effect of halo group and halo group is an example for what electron withdrawing group when halo group is present the negative charges are acquired in which position ortho and para position during resonance during resonance therefore when halo orange undergo electrophilic substitution reaction, it will form two products. One is ortho product, another one is para product. What are the two products formed during electrophilic substitution reactions of halo orange? During electrophilic substitution reactions of halo orange, there is a formation of how many products? Two products. One is ortho product, another one is para product. Ortho product, another one is para product. In case of electrophilic substitution reaction, electrophilic substitution reaction there are four types of electrophilic substitution reactions comes first one halogenation first one halogenation first one halogenation second one nitration second one nitration Third one, sulfonation. Third one, sulfonation. Third one, sulfonation. Fourth one, Friedel Crafts. Friedel Crafts. Friedel Crafts reaction. Fourth one, Friedel Crafts reaction. In the electrophilic substitution reaction, what are the four types comes under electrophilic substitution reaction? The four types which comes under electrophilic substitution reaction is first one, halogenation. Next one, nitration. Third one, sulfonation. Fourth one, Friedel Crafts reaction. In halogenation, one you can write chlorination, chlorination, bromination, chlorination, bromination, iodination, chlorination, bromination, iodination, chlorination, bromination, iodination. Under halogenation, three reaction, chlorination, bromination, as well as what? Iodination. Fluorination is not possible because of highly reactive nature of fluorine. Highly reactive nature of fluorine. Second one, nitration. Third one, sulfonation. In fourth one, that is under Friedel Crafts reaction, there are two types of Friedel Crafts reaction. One is Friedel Crafts alkylation. Friedel Crafts alkylation. Second one, Friedel Crafts acylation. Friedel Crafts. Friedel Crafts acylation. There are how many types of Friedel Crafts? One is Friedel Crafts alkylation. Second one, Friedel Crafts acylation. Friedel Crafts alkylation. Friedel Crafts acylation. Therefore, my dear student, under electrophilic substitution reaction, how many types comes under? Four types. First one, halogenation. Next one, nitration. Third one, sulfonation. Fourth one, Friedel Crafts reaction. In halogenation, there is three reaction. Chlorination, bromination, iodination. In Friedel Craft, two type alkylation and what? Acylation. Alkylation and what? Acylation. Now, first consider halogenation. Consider halogenation. In that, I'll consider chlorination. In that, I'll consider chlorination. Chlorination. In that, I'll consider chlorination. Okay. What is chlorination? Addition of chlorine. Addition of what? 
chlorine okay when i'll take which one as an example for to explain halorin reaction i will take chlorobenzene i will take chlorobenzene chlorine atom is attached to benzene ring when chlorobenzene is heated with chlorine in the presence of iron or ferric chloride iron or what ferric chloride as a catalyst iron or ferric chloride as a catalyst what's the role of iron or ferric chloride it act as catalyst we get a mixture of ortho and para dichlorobenzene one you will get what ortho another one you will get what para para ortho this position is ortho this position is ortho and this is para position and this is para position we will get how many products here two product one is ortho product another one is para product okay so what is chlorination heating with chlorine when you want to heat with chlorine which is the catalyst added here iron or ferric chloride iron or ferric chloride take two molecules of chlorobenzene when it is heated with chlorine in the presence of iron or ferric chloride as a catalyst you will introduce chlorine to ortho position and one chlorine to which position para position in the first molecule introduce chlorine atom to which position ortho in the second molecule introduce chlorine to para position what is its iupac name if i number first carbon and and this is as a second carbon 1 comma 2 dichlorobenzene 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 dichlorobenzene and this is 1 comma 4 dichlorobenzene 1 comma 4 dichlorobenzene 1 comma 4 dichlorobenzene what are the product in that the major product is always para why major is always para because of its what plane of symmetry because of its what plane of symmetry which one is major here para is major okay what are the two products formed during chlorination of chlorobenzene during chlorination of chlorobenzene there is a formation of two product one is ortho another one is para so there is a formation of two products like 1 comma 2 dichlorobenzene as well as 1 comma 4 dichlorobenzene 1 comma 4 dichlorobenzene next nitration take same chlorobenzene how many molecule two molecule and it is heated with concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid mixture of of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated H2SO4. Mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated H2SO4. Mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. Concentrated sulfuric acid is called as nitrating mixture. Is called as what? Nitrating mixture. Nitrating mixture. What is nitrating mixture? Nitrating mixture is a mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid. Concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid is called as nitrating mixture. If you heat this, the mixture of concentrated nitric acid acid and concentrated sulfuric acid is called as nitrating mixture he is called as what nitrating mixture here when chlorobenzene when chlorobenzene is heated with mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid a mixture of ortho and para chloro nitrobenzene is formed see here it is one it is what two and here it is one and it is four what are you are going to write one chloro one chloro two nitrobenzene one chloro two nitrobenzene here it is one chloro four nitrobenzene one chloro four nitrobenzene whatever it may be chlorination nitration bromination whatever it may be during electrophilic substitution there is a formation of how many product two product one is ortho another one is para which is major here para is major what is nitration heating with concentrated nitric acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid the mixture of concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid is called as nitrating mixture is called as nitrating mixture third one sulfonation third one sulfonation same chlorobenzene is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid sulfonation means heating with concentrated sulfuric acid nitration means heating with 
concentrated nitric acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid. But in case of sulfonation, what is sulfonation? Heating with concentrated sulfuric acid. Here also we are going to get two products. One is mixture of ortho and para chloro benzene sulfonic acid. Ortho and para chloro benzene sulfonic acid. Take two molecules of chlorobenzene, two molecules of chlorobenzene heated with concentrated sulfuric acid, heated with concentrated sulfuric acid. Write chlorobenzene two times here. Put SO3 H in which position in the first molecule ortho, same SO3 H is introduced in which position? Para position. What's the IUPAC name? Here you have to put number 1 to here because SO3 H is a functional group, functional group. It takes second position. Therefore, 2 chloro, 2 chloro benzene sulfonic acid, 2 chloro benzene sulfonic acid. Here don't give number 1 to chlorine atom. Here chlorine atom becomes substituent, SO3H becomes what? Functional group. Therefore, put number 1 to SO3H. Therefore, SO3H means which is the functional group name? Sulfonic acid. Here it is 4 chloro. If I put 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 4 chloro benzene sulfony acid. 4 chloro benzene sulfony acid. Like what is sulfonation, my dear student? When uh, chlorobenzene is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid, any organic compound that is aromatic hydrocarbon or halorene heated with concentrated sulfuric acid that is known as what? Sulfonation. What are the two products formed when chlorobenzene is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid? When chlorobenzene heated with uh, concentrated sulfuric acid, there is a formation of two products. One is ortho and para chloro benzene sulfonic acid that is IUPAC name is 2 chloro benzene sulfonic acid second one is 4 chloro benzene sulfonic acid next last fourth one is friedel crafts reaction friedel crafts reaction in friedel crafts reaction there are two types of friedel crafts reaction friedel crafts friedel crafts friedel crafts Alkylation, Friedel Crafts, alkylation. Second one, Friedel Crafts, Friedel Crafts, Friedel Crafts, acylation, Friedel Crafts, acylation. What is Friedel Crafts alkylation? Introduction of alkyl group, introduction of alkyl group is called as alkylation. Introduction of acyl group, acyl group means RCO, acyl group means what? RCO. Introduction of alkyl group is known as alkylation, introduction of acyl group is known as acylation. Alkyl group is indicated by capital R, acyl group is indicated by capital R, CO. Therefore, under Friedel Crafts reaction, there are how many types? Two types, Friedel Crafts alkylation and Friedel Crafts acylation. What is Friedel Crafts alkylation? Introduction of alkyl group. What is Friedel Crafts acylation? Introduction of acyl group. Let us consider first one, Friedel Crafts alkylation. When chlorobenzene is heated with methyl chloride, methyl chloride, it's an example for alkyl halide, in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride as a catalyst. One mark, very important question for your board. Name a catalyst used in Friedel Crafts reaction. The catalyst which is used in Friedel Crafts reaction is anhydrous aluminium chloride. Anhydrous aluminium chloride. Okay. The anhydrous aluminium chloride is used as a catalyst. You are going to get a mixture of ortho and para chlorotoline. Mixture of ortho and para chlorotoline. Take two molecules of chlorobenzene heated with methyl chloride. What's the formula of methyl chloride? CH3Cl. In the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride as a catalyst. Write down two times chlorobenzene. Put CH3 in ortho position and in another ring CH3 in which position? Para position. Here which one is electrophile here? Here when you add methyl chloride, here electrophile is CH3, Cl minus is nucleophile. This CH3 is attacked ortho positions once as well as to para position. Here it is heated with what? Methyl chloride. What's the formula of methyl chloride? CH3, Cl. And what's the friedel crafts reaction? The catalyst which is used in friedel crafts reaction is anhydrous aluminum chloride. If I write its IUPAC name 1, it is 2. 1 chloro, 
टू मीथाइल बेनजीन वन क्लोरो टू मीथाइल बेनजीन हियर इफ आई पोर्ट वन टू थ्री फोर वन क्लोरो फोर मीथाइल बेनजीन वन क्लोरो फोर मीथाइल बेनजीन पैरा इज ऑलवेज मेजर पैरा इज ऑलवेज मेजर नेक्स्ट आई कंसिडर फ्रीडल क्राफ्ट असाइलेशन फ्रीडल क्राफ्ट असाइलेशन वॉट इज असाइलेशन इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ introduction of rco group that is acyl group acyl group for that you should heat with acetyl chloride acetyl chloride the formula of acetyl chloride is ch3 cocl ch3 cocl it is acetyl chloride here also the catalyst is anhydrous aluminum chloride whatever it may be alkylation or acylation in case of friedel crafts reaction the catalyst used is anhydrous aluminum chloride here will get a mixture of ortho and para chloro acetophenone ortho and para chloro acetophenone if i number this as a 1 this as 2 2 chloro acetophenone 2 chloro acetophenone this is 4 chloro acetophenone 4 chloro acetophenone 2 chloro acetophenone as well as what 4 chloro acetophenone 4 chloro acetophenone therefore so in friedel crafts reaction there are two type alkylation and acylation alkylation means introduction of alkyl group acylation means introduction of acyl group both can be done in the presence of catalyst anhydrous aluminum chloride next metals in that first one words fitting reaction first one words fitting reaction for words fitting reaction you take one molecule of aryl halide and one alkyl halide one alkyl halide what's the general formula of alkyl halide rx what's the general formula of aryl halide benzene attached with x a mixture of alkyl halide and aryl halide mixture of alkyl halide and you know aryl halide take one molecule of alkyl halide and one molecule of aryl halide heated with sodium and in the presence of solvent dry ether dry ether you will get alkyl benzene or alkyl arene now what's the general formula of uh, hal aryl halide benzene with x alkyl halide rx 2 na and here 2 na 2 na takes 2x and it will form 2 nax it will form 2 na remaining is benzene attached with r it is known as alkyl benzene it is known as what alkyl benzene once again i'll write aryl halide is benzene with x alkyl halide is rx alkyl halide is rx heated with sodium heated with sodium in the presence of dry ether in the presence of dry ether 2 na takes this 2x and it will form 2 nax 2 nax here remaining is benzene here it is r when r is alkyl alkyl benzene alkyl benzene if i take which one as a example methyl bromide bromo benzene is heated with methyl bromide i'll take 2 na 2 na takes this 2 br and it will form 2 na br and remaining is here benzene and it is methyl this is methyl benzene methyl benzene or toluene methyl benzene or toluene instead of bromine one you can take chlorine here also instead of bromine you know take chlorine when you take chlorine it will become chlorobenzene here also when you take chlorine it will become methyl chloride it will become methyl chloride alike what is words fitting reaction words fitting reaction you take a mixture of alkyl halide and aryl halide alkyl halide and aryl halide heated with sodium in the presence of dry ether we will get alkyl benzene you will get alkyl benzene next uh, fitting reaction here you take only aryl halides take two molecules of aryl halide what's the general formula of aryl halide benzene attached with x heated with what sodium in the presence of what dry ether so you will get biphenyl get a biphenyl it is not biphenol it is biphenyl is form biphenyl is form okay so this reaction is also called as what fitting reaction if i take example of chlorobenzene plus two molecule 2 na 2 na in the presence of what dry ether dry ether it will form 2 nacl as well as 
two rings are going to fuse it is nothing but what biphenyl biphenyl or diphenyl biphenyl or diphenyl words fitting mean one alkyl and one aryl fitting means both the molecules are aryl halides both the molecules are aryl halides okay next the last part of this chapter that is haloalkanes and halorins we have to discuss about some polyhalogen compounds in the first session that is in introduction part i discussed the application of few haloalkanes and halorin when you recall that the first session chloramphenicol is used as a antibiotic in case of typhoid fever chloroquine is used in the treatment of malaria like that I had discussed several examples are there now today i'm going to discuss the use of polyhalogen compound first one dichloromethane dichloromethane uh, trivial name is methylene chloride trivial name is methylene chloride what's the use of this dichloromethane it is a used as a solvent for drug industry paint remover and propellant in aerosols a cleaning agent for metals cleaning agent for metal what are the uses of methylene chloride or dichloromethane it's used as a solvent in drug industry drug industry as well as it is used to remove paint therefore it is called as paint remover propellant as well as cleaning agent for metal what is the environment impact as well as, well as side effects what is the side effect as well as environment impact of because direct contact to your skin develop redness and burning sensation harmful to our central nervous system high level in air causes nausea numbness in finger and toes okay direct contact to our skin this is methylene chloride causes redness as well as what burning sensation harmful for our central nervous system as well as it causes nausea and numbness in finger and what toes okay so what are the application so as you know any chemical if it is wide application as well as it has also side effect for example when you say the tablets okay when you take a painkillers was the side effect so acidity therefore doctor so they before giving the painkiller they'll give capsule for what gastric also they'll ask whether you have, have acidity so for that he had given what is that gastric tablet here also the chemicals are polyhalogen compounds have uses but similarly they have also side effects okay so next to trichloromethane trichloromethane is it's a upac name common name is chloroform chloroform is a sweet smelling liquid okay non inflammable but is vapor causes unconscious names vapor causes unconscious but when it is exposed to sunlight this is very very important when chloroform is exposed to sunlight it slowly decomposes is to one poison gas that is called as posgene that is called as posgene was the formula of posgene co cl2 and it is highly poisonous gas therefore to avoid this reaction chloroform is always stored in a dark colored bottles and completely filled so that air is kept out alige what happens when chloroform is exposed to air or when it is exposed to sunlight it decomposes to one poisonous gas that poisonous gas is called as what posgene was the formula of posgene co or cl2 what's the uses it is a solvent for pads oils varnishes waxes resins rubber and it is used as anesthetica after being mixed with ether in the manufacture of freon freon are used as what refrigerant was the use of chloroform chloroform used as solvent for pads oils varnishes waxes resins etc as well as it's used as anesthetic as well as in the manufacture of freon what happens when chloroform once again i'll repeat what happens when chloroform is exposed to sunlight it is decomposes into one poison gas that is called as what posgene that is called as what posgene next what is its uh, environmental impact or side effect on inhalation it depresses the central nervous system causes headache and dizziness it causes when you inhale it causes headache as well as dizziness chronic exposure damages liver and kidneys on exposure to sunlight and air it decomposes to into posgene posgene is a poisonous gas posgene is a poisonous gas okay so it damages liver and what kidneys as well as it causes headache as well as what dizziness headache and you know dizziness okay next to that is 
chloroform this is iodoform iodoform what's the formula of iodoform ch i3 tri iodo methane tri iodo methane it is a yellow crystalline solid okay as well as it has pungent smell it is used as antiseptic for dressing wound so to dressing wound the antiseptic used in hospital is which one iodoform iodoform in the manufacture of certain pharmaceuticals certain pharmacy but what is its environmental antiseptic Form, property of iodoform is due to the liberation of iodine due to the liberation of iodine not because of iodoform it acts as antiseptic the iodine which is liberated from iodoform it has which character antiseptic property due to its objectionable smell it has been replaced by other formulation containing iodine it has very objectionable smell therefore nowadays it is replaced by other formulations other formulations okay next tetrachloromethane that is carbon tetrachloride that is carbon tetrachloride okay so uses it is used as an industrial solvent for the manufacture of chloroform for the manufacture of refrigerant and aerosol propellants in dry cleaning and fire extinguisher okay so what is the uses of carbon tetrachloride the main use the carbon tetrachloride used as what fire extinguisher it is used as a industrial solvent don't think water is only a solvent carbon tetrachloride is also a, a very good industrial solvent in the manufacture of chloroform in the manufacture of refrigerants etc environment impact so its vapor breath causes nausea dizziness vomiting okay Okay. so exposure it causes cancer irregular heartbeat and person may go to coma okay so when vapors are inhaled and high exposure causes cancer heartbeat irregular heartbeat it vapors depletes the ozone layer it vapor it is a carbon tetrachloride vapor is depletion to the ozone layer ozone hole permits the ultraviolet radiation reach on earth and may cause skin cancer eye diseases disorder okay you know that when ozone layer thickness decreases there is a formation of holes in ozone layer so what happens harmful ultraviolet radiations harmful ultraviolet radiation reaches to the earth and it causes skin cancer it causes skin cancer okay next freons freons are called as chlorofluoro chlorofluoro carbons freons are called chlorofluoro carbon they contain they contain carbon chlorine fluorine they contain carbon chlorine fluorine that's why they are called as cfcs c stands for chloro f stands for fluoro as well as another c stands for carbon chlorofluoro carbons chloro fluoro carbons are called as freons one more question what are freons freons are chloro fluoro carbon c stands for chloro f stands for fluoro c stands for carbon okay the most common freons are cf2 cl freon 12 and freon 11 freon 11 is cf3 cl it is cf2 cl uses of freons already you know that it is used in air conditioners as well as refrigerators refrigerator as a propellant in aerosol and forms to prevent deodorants cleanser and insecticide and it is used as a halothane halothane is used used as inhalation or as an anesthetic environmental effect it is a atmosphere where it is diffuses unchanged into the stratosphere and it is also depletion to the which layer ozone layer so freons are depletion to the ozone layer last one ddt was the complete name of ddt pp dash two para position dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane dichloro diphenyl trichloroethane it's a effective insecticide it's a very good insecticide for mosquitoes flies and crop pest and and it's an anti malarial it is an anti malarial it's a very good insecticide very good insecticide for mosquitoes flies and crop pest so as an anti malarial environment ddc is a first chlorinated organic insecticide its stability and fat solubility is great problem it has high toxic towards fishers it is a ddt is very high toxic towards what fishers okay so uh, what is the structure of ddt so this is two carbon three chlorine trichloro diphenyl there are two benzene dichloro dichloro 
ोजन Freons, sixth one, DDT. So all the six polyhalogen compounds I mentioned, the uses as well as its what side effects. I completed. This is the last session of haloalkanes and halorenes. Therefore, how many sessions in this chapter? Six sessions. All the six sessions I try to give complete information about haloalkanes and what halorenes. Thank you. Goodbye.